Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Um, this video is going to be all about the valent boiler uh, that I have previously spoken to you on, on a previous uh, video about. Uh, this is basically a quick video just to show you guys uh, what to do when uh, your boiler, especially a valent boiler if you have one, is uh, leaking. And especially when it's, you know, uh, late in the evening and you have nobody uh to come and have a quick look at it uh it is worrying it is worrying because uh this is what it's caused uh this is the leak that's happened and i was not aware of this uh until i started looking for something uh in the boiler room in the storage area and i don't know what it is it's uh, obviously it looks like a water leak but it, you know it could be could be anything coming out of the boiler so it is a bit uh dangerous and worrying uh, especially with my uh, boiler which is located uh, next to my bedroom and having a little uh, baby uh, sleeping in in our room as well it's uh, it's quite worrying so um, let's get down to business and uh, let me show you a quick way uh, of which you can do to uh, stop uh, the leak so what we're gonna do at this point is basically uh if you look if you look at the pressure you want to make sure uh you just press any of the buttons you want to make sure that the level is sort of in the middle there or slightly below the middle um that's the water pressure going into the boiler so you want to make sure that's uh fine first of all uh second in order to uh close the water going into the boiler that's what you want to do before um, before you get anybody out. So you want to stop the water going in there before, uh, just before somebody comes to have a quick look at it. So what I would recommend, so if you can see the pipes, my ones uh, would probably might be a bit different to yours, or it could be similar. So this is the cold water pipe going in from the mains, and this is the hot water pipe. So if you touch them, one will be cold and then the other would be uh, quite warm. So they're both connected. They got these screws there and they're both open. If you turn them diagonally like that, that would uh, release the, the water pressure. But we're not doing that today. So what you want to be looking at is uh, from the middle pipe, you got a middle pipe there, is the second one on your right. So the pipe running on your right will go, sorry, it's a bit tight here. I'm gonna try my best to show you guys. So, so middle pipe, the one on the right to the middle pipe goes up, 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 and into the boiler. As you can see, there is a screw there. So what you wanna do, I've already done it. You wanna turn the screw this way. So, it was this way and I've just turned it this way so look I'll just stick my nail in there so you'll see uh, which way it is so basically I'm going to show you with a screwdriver that's the one there so so as you can see it's sitting like that so now there's no water water going into the boiler at all so that is quite safe now uh so you want to leave it like that no water going into it for uh until the engineer comes around and has a look at it once they have a look at it they will probably tell you what needs doing uh, if there's a if there's parts that needs replacing or if it's just a, a matter of uh, you know, turning a few screws around or whatever, they'll they'll tell you. The professionals will come and tell you. But I think my my issue was the therm my thermostat was recently changed, and I don't know what they did. But as soon as they came and changed that, two weeks later, I get a leak like that. So I'm not sure if this is connected, but it could be. It could be. So if you've had any boiler boiler repairs recently. Uh, it could be because of that. They might have tampered with it, but you know, it could be anything. So just call the boiler repair people, a gas engineer maybe, and uh, 
it'll come and look at it but before you do that just turn the main water supply again into the boiler off so you're safe and uh, I would suggest at night time when you're not using the water at all and then in the morning turn it back on uh, if it's leaking put a little bowl underneath it uh, just keep an eye on it every time it uh, it fills up just pour it down the down the sink bring it back on uh, until the engineer gets there so yeah guys i hope you've enjoyed your video uh please 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 just to support my channel please hit the subscribe button i would really really appreciate it if this video has helped you uh as i'm trying to grow this channel please 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 uh hit subscribe thank you and take care until next time